what's going on good people good day good day we are back with another tutorial from creative designs we are going to sublimate this um doormat i have a niece that's moving in tennessee and i want to make it for her for a gift so stay tuned with me enjoy and hopefully you can uh get some out of this tutorial so this is a mat that i got from um, home depot and it's sublimatable right in there. In this space from here to here, the whole mat is 13 by 18. But this space in here was, I think, 24 by 12. So it's 24, two feet wide, one feet up and down. So because I didn't, my sawgrass sublimation printer only prints 13 by 19. What I had to do was, let me come over here and show you guys. What I did was I um, cut two pieces of sawgrass. I cut, I used one, and then I used uh, seven inches off another. So I got a 24, 27 by 13 piece that I'm going to sublimate on. And then uh, I want to press it on here. So again, I'm going to run this through the sublimation printer. And we'll be right back. So as you guys, again, as I was saying earlier, I taped two pieces of um, sublimation paper together to make it long enough so to run through the printer. And I'm going to do my settings for 13 by 27. I'm going to make do set it and set it for custom in the settings. Now, let me give you guys a, a quick tip. Because this tray doesn't hold that long. As you guys can see, sometimes it'll stay up there, but as it uh, starts printing, it'll fold over. So I'm going to have to hold it up here to guide it through. And we're going to get to the sublimation right after this. So here's the finished sub product. As you guys can see, I got a few smears on there. I don't know how that happened, but what I'm going to do is just trim around this so it don't print out on the uh, mat. And I got my heat press set to 385 for 60 seconds. And we're going to see how this come out. I only, I'm only using a 16 by... I forgot what size this is. But it's a 16. It's a press from Pro World. It's only 16 inches wide. So I'm going to have to hit it. I'm going to have to press twice to get this done. But that's all right. So as you guys can see, I had to kind of cut around it just so that I can um, make sure none of the black streak showed up that was on the sublimation print. Why it showed up, I don't know. But again, we're going to heat press this and take a look at how it comes out. So we got the uh, mat on here. Make sure you put some craft paper or butcher paper, whatever you want to call it. Put it on there. I pressed one side, so now I'm spinning. So we can press the other side. 385, 60 seconds. Now we're gonna remove the mat off of the press. Be careful. Could be hot. I don't know. Get the camera angle straight a little better. This Ladies and gentlemen, it's the first time I've ever done this. So you are seeing what I'm seeing for the first time. Let's turn it around. There we go. I think it came out real good. This is for my this is my first time ever doing a mat like this. And again, like I said, this is for my niece who's moving in uh, Tennessee. Shout out to Brianna Webb. I'm proud of you. But listen, guys, I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. Please like and subscribe so that we can um, continue to, to, to manipulate the algorithm so that we can get more likes and views and we can do more um, videos for you guys. We have a lot more things coming up via crafting. So, again, subscribe so you'll know when we do it. Hit that bell so the notification bell and, and 
we got some things coming up. We just bought a, 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 a laser engraver, and we've been doing some test runs on this thing. And if you're into crafting, this is, you're going to love it. It's not much, but you're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a blessed day.